In this example, we'll be using practice exercise 11.4a that can be found in your textbook on page 519. We are going to be journalizing our payroll for the period. Every time we run payroll, we'll actually need to do two separate journal entries, one to record the withholdings for the employees and one to record how much in payroll taxes the employer has to pay for having employees. That second journal entry will be shown in the next video example. The information given to us is that the payroll register of our company indicates that $13,200 of Social Security was withheld and $3,300 of Medicare tax was withheld on total salaries of $220,000 for the period. They also tell us that the federal withholding for the period totaled $43,560. So we need to provide the journal entry to record this period's payroll. Again, the information given represents all of the Social Security, Medicare, and federal income taxes withheld from all of our employees during that time frame, and that in total, our employees earned a total gross earnings amount of $220,000. So we need to journalize this entry. Our debit is going to be to salaries expense for the total gross earnings amount of $220,000. This is an expense to our business because in total, we as the company have to pay out $220,000. Not all of that money will go to our employees, but we still have to spend $220,000 as the company for our employees working for us during that period. Our credits are going to show who we are going to be paying that money to. They told us that for this pay period, there was $13,200 of Social Security withheld from all of our employees' paychecks in total. So we have a payable for Social Security tax in the amount of $13,200. We owe the Social Security Tax Department, $13,200 from what we've taken out of our employees' paycheck for that pay period. They also tell us that we have a Medicare tax amount that we need to pay as well. We have withheld $3,300 from our employees' paychecks that we, as the employer, needs to send to the Medicare Tax Division. We also have federal income tax that we withheld from our employees' paychecks that we need to again pay in the future. In total, we had withheld $43,560 from our employees' paychecks for federal income taxes. So, so far, out of the $220,000 that our employees have earned, $13,200 is going to Social Security, $3,300 is going to Medicare, and $43,560 is going to federal income taxes. The remaining amount is going to be given to our employees. So we have a salaries payable for the difference. Our total gross earnings of that $220,000 minus how much got deducted for Social Security minus how much was deducted for Medicare minus how much was deducted for federal income taxes tells us how much will be given to our employees in total. And for this example, 
$159,940 will be given to our employees. Again, the $220,000 represents gross pay of all of our employees. The amount for Social Security, Medicare, and federal income taxes represents our total withholding. Our employees' paychecks. And finally, our salaries payable represent the net pay that will be given to our employees. So similar to the prior example that we did where we calculated net pay for one employee, we are basically doing that here, but just in the journal entry format. Please remember, all of your credits are payables. We owe this money various different departments of the government for taxes and to our employees.